And more tributes have been paid to the Duke of Edinburgh following his death last Friday. Paul Cummins met Prince Philip after creating that iconic sea of ceramic poppies. And two grandparents from Mansfield say they actually owe their marriage to the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. A sea of poppies at the Tower of London, a poignant tribute to the victims of the First World War by the Derby artist Paul Cummins. Paul met Prince Philip when he accompanied the Queen here. He took you at ease, basically, asked lots of questions. He supported his wife, but he was also always in the background. He was always there throughout my entire life and lots of other people's to sort of be like, I keep saying the granddad of the country because sometimes he made gaffes, but he always made sense in the end of everything that he did. And that's me and our group. And for Val and Andrew in Mansfield, memories of a visit to Buckingham Palace when Prince Philip presented them with Gold Duke of Edinburgh awards. Uh, this is a little tent that three of us slept in each night. It's almost 50 years since the couple met while they were both volunteering on the awards scheme. I did uh, fishing as an interest and because of that, obviously, the Duke had switched on to that and he came across and chatted to me about angling. He seems to be a wealth of knowledge and he seemed to be able to talk to anybody of any age. Just a wonderful guy and, uh, and, and he just so felt, felt so at ease with him. And I guess you guys owe your marriage to Prince Philip, don't you? We certainly do. If it hadn't have been for us to do the Duke of Edinburgh's award scheme, the gold award especially, um, we would never have met. And after 45 years, we're still happily married and together. So We've got to thank him for our whole life, to be honest, from the age of 18, our whole adult life, until now. It's thanks to Prince and uh, Prince Philip and the, and the DV, really. They're remembering the Duke here in Mansfield Town Centre too. This is where he accompanied the Queen on a royal visit in Silver Jubilee year. A reminder that as the shops get back to business, Prince Philip is still in people's thoughts. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Mansfield.